Now, not a lot's changed, unfortunately, in this government. They still seem to hate, full stop, but they certainly seem to hate, well, access to higher education, feminists, young people, students, people on social security. They still hate Medicare, and they're trying to wind that back. They still hate equality for gays, lesbians, bisexual, transgender, intersex and queers. They have so much hate and fear. Now this might be a government of old, white, privileged men, but they do not speak for us. There is this fear creeping in, this fear of the other that pervades this whole government. Asylum seekers and refugees are not criminals. They are not terrorists. They are human beings, just like you and me, with families who want to have a safe life and who just want to be able to exist without the fear of being shot and being persecuted, like any other human being in this entire nation. I don't know why it's so hard for our government to deny people that basic right and to see that multiculturalism enriches us all and it enriches our society and it makes us all stronger. Men, women and children. For goodness sake, when did it become okay to lock up children? Offshore detention is inflicting so much harm physically, mentally and to our very society. We have people that are dying on our watch in facilities that our government is funding. We have people that are self-harming in desperation. We are forever inflicting harm on those children who are growing up behind razor wire. Well, Mr Abbott is uh, scaring people about terrorism now and he's, of course, trying to whip up fear about asylum seekers being terrorists, about terrorism generally. We've all got to be so paranoid and worried and hate the other and, and fear everything. Well, I can't think of a better way to breed animosity to this government or even to the West than to lock people up and to turn back boats and to absolutely deny the basic humanity that I thought beat in everybody's chest. What a foolish way to go about trying to make the world safer. It is absolutely ridiculous. Asylum seekers and refugees have done no wrong. They are entitled to seek asylum. And every time in the Senate chamber that one of those bigots refers to asylum seekers as illegal, we stand up and take a point of order. I'm really proud to say that. We say it is not illegal to seek asylum. We could be increasing our humanitarian intake and we're moving a bill in the Senate this week to increase our humanitarian intake. Of course, Tony Abbott slashed it. Um, the previous government had increased it. Tony Abbott slashed it back down to 13,750. 13, we want to increase that back up to 20,000. We want to give people some hope that they can have a safe life here in Australia. We want to properly resource those processing centres so that people aren't waiting in limbo for sometimes up to 20 years. Is it any wonder that people think their only option is a leaky boat? Let's give them a safer option. Let's make sure they don't get on those boats, but let's make sure that they aren't criminalised and locked up and left in limbo where they can't work, their kids can't study and they've got no entitlement to healthcare. We've got so many other ways, so many safer pathways that we can help and recognise the contribution that refugees and asylum seekers make to this nation. And I'm so proud that in the Senate we have always stood for that and we will continue to do so. And we speak for Australians. We are a warm-hearted nation. We are a wealthy nation. We should be sharing that privilege and this clean air and clean water and the beauty and safety that we have in this country. We should be sharing that. I don't know why it's so hard for our government to deny people that basic right and to see that multiculturalism enriches us all and it enriches our society and it makes us all stronger.